Hello everybody and how are we today on a uh, lovely glorious June day in the UK Where are you going? You going in there? Good Lovely glorious June day Got home from work early today Last day of a course, three week course Which um, I'll be totally honest with you, I hated um, My favourite saying is I'd rather suck shit through a tramp sock And that's very true so, um, although um, my wife had sort of made a um, tenuous arrangement for me to take the, um, one of the cats to the vets just for some jabs, nothing serious, just inoculations, um, she was quite happy for me to duck out of that to go for one of my little therapy rides just to um, get away. But I have got, I've sat my old. Um, sat nav onto a route the old tom tom go ride and she's waffling in my ear and it's annoying me so let's shut that down shall we that's nice and easy one button press i do like the old tom tom go ride um yeah but she was waffling in my ear and distracting me so i stuck it on for a little 50 mile route heading southwest where I live in Ashford or just outside of Ashford and uh, it gives you a choice of a few different routes and I've set my route option to super thrilling so let's give that a go and we'll see how super thrilling it is I'm guessing it's going to be lots of little nagery country lanes which is um, proper RS country so let's see where it takes us but yeah I just needed to get on the bike, unwind and just um, clear my head after three weeks of being sat basically in a classroom with um, obviously assessments as they call them now, assessments at the end which thankfully I passed, there was two assessments and I passed both of them so happy days and yeah, at the end of the course you always get a one to one with a tutor and uh, mine was very quick. Anything to add? No. Happy with the course went? You know where the course went? Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. That was it. So, dived out of there and, uh, and finished early, which is nice compared to what we've endured over the last few weeks. But hey, one more course done. I'm hoping I probably haven't got any more to do now in my. Uh, my career, my second career, the end of my, or it's at the end of, I've got a fair few years of work yet. Um, might drop to part time, but you know, let's see what happens. Days like this, I think, yeah, fuck it, let's do part time. Let's get out and ride and enjoy the weather while it is, while it's, um, while it is nice. But we've all got bills to pay. Um, I've got a daughter that's um, potentially going to uni in the next year or two. So, uh, yeah, I should really keep earning money and tucking money aside. Having said that, I keep spending money on motorcycles. Right, car, let's go for an overtake. Let's give it some revs. And we're through, look at that. Ah, oh, thing of beauty, the RSs. I'm still sort of running in the home that I did on the, um, the boards, but I am, um, Giving it a few more revs. Uh, I changed the oil before I came out today. I gave it a wash, got the rest of the mud from the green laning off of the bike. It was all underneath the mud guards. Benders, if you're in America, uh, left a nice little pile on the floor in the on the driveway. And I thought the bike was fairly clean, but it's amazing the amount of muck that sticks to the bottom of mud guards that you don't really see. So I got the the hose out on a jet, set in and gave it a good old rinse, got a bucket and um, stay in there, yeah, got the bucket out with um, the old Maguire's, Maguire's, whatever you want to call it, shampoo, gave it a good old rinse through, uh, it still looks like a trusty rusty thing of beauty, it's just a bit less grubby to be fair, front forks are still nice, yeah, they're still working lovely, uh, with the old uh, 60 pence worth of preload in each leg 
those of you of a certain age will know what, exactly what I mean by them. 60p of spring preload. Yeah, you'll know. Uh, I'll put 15 weight oil, standard's 10 weight, but I'll put 15 weight oil in. Alright, ignore me. Twat. That's pretty bit rude. Uh, but he could have at least given me a nod, couldn't he? Hey, what's the world coming to when blokes on bikes and a sunny day cruising in the countryside don't even nod to each other? There you go. I'm having a bit of a moan, aren't I? I need to de-stress, which is exactly what I'm out doing on the bike. Look at this shit here as well, people dumped out of their car. Anyway, enough of my moaning, because I'm out on the trusty rusty, I'm cruising through the beautiful King countryside. Uh, I haven't got to go back to work until Tuesday. So life is good, what have I got to moan about, really? You know, fit and healthy. Life could be a lot worse, and you know, and obviously I've got friends who are oh, turning in. It's because I turned the old sound off, wasn't it? I've got friends who are certainly in um, less fortunate situations than I am, so I really shouldn't have a moan. So let's get out, let's enjoy the weather, and uh, have a think about how unfortunate we are sometimes. You know that uh, hopefully everyone watching this is lucky enough to own a motorcycle of some shape. Oh, this is nice, look at this. Little twisties through the trees. Oh, you know, sometimes the British countryside is lovely, be it mountains or woods or, you know, even over the marsh sometimes, over on Romney Marsh, which is flat as a pancake. Sometimes you come around the corner and there's just something, you know, just a, a nice bit of nature in front of you. And it just makes you, uh, makes you happy. And when you're younger, you don't really think of stuff like that, do you? You're too preoccupied in your own little world, but I think as you get a bit older, um, you know, your priorities change and, and you, you know, think of friends who maybe haven't made it to the age that you have of which I have a few unfortunately and I just think about um, yeah life is good and even when it's bad nine times out of ten well probably more than that actually it's always going to get better I'm sure we've all had those times when we're really down in our lives uh, but things always do seem to get better even if at the time it doesn't seem like they're going to. But one of those things that helps me get better is motorcycles. Um, I've ridden bikes since I, was, since I was 10 years old and I've got no plans on giving them up. I say anytime soon, soon doesn't exist, anytime. I will be riding motorcycles for as long as I'm physically able. And, uh, we all know that there's an uh, inherent risk in that uh, and I'm sure that people watching this have either lost friends or had friends injured or maybe injured themselves on motorcycles and it is that risk that we take but the trade-off is how it makes us feel uh, there was a, I can't remember where it came from but when I was climbing uh, a friend of mine gave me this, this uh, like a long poem and it was all about risk and uh, you know it's like I can't remember the, the wording it was like but you know to risk is to live and if you don't risk you don't live and all this sort of stuff I think it was by a female climber and I think she actually died climbing that rings a bell you know obviously it's something that you love doing and you know the risks involved but I definitely live by that. I certainly, you know, obviously don't take stupid risks. I don't risk anything that uh, is above and beyond. I've spent too many years doing that for a job. Um, so now, in my own life, I ride purely for pleasure. And it is pleasurable. Where are we headed? We are turning left here. I have been down some of these roads before. Oh, come.
come on, you didn't really need to break that dramatically. It's a blind bend, he's in a van, he's pulled out, and you break dramatically and steer to the centre of the road. Well, Tenton Garden Centre, mate, you weren't in the wrong there. You didn't have a lot of opportunities. She was around the corner and you were already moving. So, uh, yeah, if you're watching this, yeah, obviously you won't be. But I'm in your corner there. But yeah, 43 miles to go. Beautiful. So this is aiming to be, I put 50 miles in because I've basically got 50 miles, so I've done 100 miles on the um, on the home, at the top end of the motor. So it's 100 miles, just let the rings bend back in again. Uh, make them seal nicely, and just check that the bike's all running lovely, which at the moment it is perfectly. Since the rebuild it's all tight, no rattles, anything like that. Obviously I'll reset the valve clearances and um, then dump the oil again so say i dumped the oil earlier so it's done 50 miles dump the oil i'll do another 50 miles dump that oil and then it'll be ready for wales which i'm really looking forward to it's going to be a long ride to wales and a long ride back but um you know i'm quite happy this will make it if it won't you will no doubt see a video of me on a hard shoulder of a motorway waiting for the ROC man to come and pick me up. My headlight seems a bit low. When I go into the trees I can just see it. It's got an LED bulb fitted, which gives a nice white light. Uh, but the bulb, the way it went in, obviously it's a cheap Chinese jobby. The way it went in, the way it fitted naturally, when you flick to high beam, if you set it perfectly for low beam, when you flick to high beam, it was up in the trees, and I mean properly up in the trees. I mean it like a 45 degree angle up in the trees. So when I got home last night, I uh, took the bulb out and just basically rotated it because it's fitted into the headlights. So you can actually take the headlight out. You haven't got to faff around. It's quite easy to do on something old and trusty and rusty oh like this you can take the headlight bulb uh, take the head well, take the headlight out with two screws the bulb's just a spring clip undo the spring clip pop the bulb out just basically kept rotating it round and rechecking it uh, until I got it in the right position and the right position was nothing like the um, indents that make it fit into the holder they were completely different uh, and then I adjusted it to what it seems like but that was on the workshop wall obviously I've got to go out at night and give it a test well, it says I'm turning I'm obviously come back this way or do I maybe I don't but I'm turning left here I'm guessing when I come back if you can see when I come back from that road over there I'm guessing I'll turn right uh, so I turn left again uh, Let's find out, shall we? Yeah, a mile away, military canal road. What are we? We're in a 30 minute, aren't we? Yeah, we are. Uh, so yeah, now the headlight seems to work nicely. Um, but it is quite bright on the floor. So I will have to get out at night and uh, <coughs> give the bulb a a test and if I need to give it a final tweak then obviously I can do that make sure it's in the right place but yeah just a bit of a ride a bit of a ride and a waffle just a de-stress waffle and sometimes I just de-stress by talking to myself and um, really just see how everybody is and hoping that everyone's okay and uh, wherever you are that it's good riding. We're in Appledore. Appledore is out on the marsh. One of the little villages. The marsh is a bit like Sheppey. If anyone knows Sheppey in Kent, where um, it's all a bit, a little bit sort of, um, I think inbred's the wrong word. Well, no, it's probably not the wrong word for Sheppey, but you could say Appledore is a bit like, or, or the marsh, certain places on the marsh are a bit like Sheppey where you know get, they get snowed in over the winter and um, 
you know, your brother's, your auntie's, sister's cousin, sort of um, twice removed, who's also your uncle and your dad. That's definitely Sheppy. Where are we going here? Ooh. Oh no, we're not. I thought we were turning right there, but it's not. It's the next one down. There are some lovely little places out in the marsh. Road closed access only. Well, that won't be applicable for the trusty Rusty. Oh, here comes a GS. Are they going to wave or nod? Ah, oh, he gave me a little nod. He wouldn't give me a nod if he, if he heard what I said about GS riders, would he? He obviously doesn't watch my channel. Doesn't know the trusty Rusty exists, does he? Well, he does, he's just seen it. I bet when he gets home, if that's his missus on the back, she's going to go, Why haven't you got a 250RS? Why have we got this massive, great chunk of metal? But she probably won't. Anyway, enough of my moaning. I'm going to go for a ride now. I'm going to stick some tunes on. I've got a Foo Fighters playlist on at the moment. I'm going to see the Foo's in um, two weeks. Two weeks yesterday. So two weeks yesterday, I'd have been to see the Foo Fighters in London. Can't wait. Anyway, enough of that. I might do a little bit more on the way back. I might have another chat. Make another little quick film. And um, post it a bit later. Bits if I think of anything half interesting to say, because a lot of this stuff is just an absolute dribble, as you know. Right. Let's get back to it on the thing of beauty. Oh, which is handling lovely, it's running lovely. Yeah, life is good. So, guys, as usual, if you're riding, stay safe. If you're not riding, watch crap videos like this on YouTube. And I will catch you on the next adventure of RSing About. So, take care. And I'll see you soon.